Lord. You are the only true. Hey, Shadow, I hope that go. Your different is there. I hope that go. You are the only true God. He did your age and I did my. Hey, man, we Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Sister, over to you, ma. Sister Sandra. To start. I'm sorry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Joy. Sister Christy, over to you, ma'am. Sister Sandra, you are welcome to Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister Joy, please, can you help us with 10 minutes to open prayer? Okay. At this hour, let us close our eyes as we go to God in prayer. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. For all you have done, for all us, hallelujah. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are thankful, oh Lord, hallelujah. We are grateful, oh Lord, hallelujah. For all you have done for us, hallelujah. We are grateful, oh God. Our let us begin to hope our begin to appreciate the Lord, begin to tell him thank you for his mercy upon your life, for his protection, for his love and kindness. Many people wake up this morning, they are in the hospital, many people they are in the sick bed, many people they die this morning. But we are alive today by his mercy, this is by his love, by his compassion. Let us begin to hope our to appreciate him. Tell him that you are grateful for his mercy, tell him that you are grateful for his kindness, for his protection upon our life. No, we just thank you. Lord, we glorify your name. We appreciate you for all you have done. We say, let your name may Lord be glorified. We are grateful to you. When we open our mouth, our mouth is not enough for us to say thank you. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you honor. Father, we give you adoration. You alone is worthy of our praise. We say thank you for all you have done. We worship your name, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. At this hour, we are going to open our mouth. Eh? We are going to welcome the Holy Spirit. We are going to confess our sins. Eh? Every day we have sinned against the Lord. Now we stand as barrier against our prayer at this hour. So now be accepted that the Lord should forgive us. That the Lord should cleanse us for our sins. That the Lord should purify us. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, my God, I call upon your name. We ask for mercy for your cleansing. We ask for God for compassion. We ask that you wash away. Every Everything that we have said today, everything that we have done today, everything that we have done that we hinder our prayer this hour. So now we accepted, oh Lord. We pray for mercy, Lord. Have mercy upon our life. Forgive us, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. 
Amen. 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 Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. everlasting King of glory, we just worship you. We thank you for all you have done. We thank you for your mercy, for your grace upon our life. We thank you for your compassion. We thank you, oh God, for being there for us. We thank you because you don't allow the enemy to ask us, praise our God, that we are serving. We thank you for bringing us once again in your presence. It's not by our power, it's not by our mind. It's by your love and your care, your protection. The enemy tried this morning. He tried different ways, but your plan never comes to Father, we say thank you. May your name and Lord be glorified for all you have done for our life. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of the living God, we call upon your name this hour, Lord. We are gathered in your name. You say when two or three are gathered, you are there. Father, we know your presence is here. We ask that you take charge. Eh? We ask that you take us over control. We ask that you manifest your powers never before. In the name of Jesus, we come against every contrary spirit. We come against every disease. Distraction spirit. We come against every power of darkness that want to stand against this program, that want to stand against our prayer life, that want to stand against today gathering. Father, we scatter all their planet. We arrest all their planet that want to stand up go against the internet and the network. Father, my God, may your power come down and begin to arrest them in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that you pour your fire tonight, even our spirit, our spirit, our marrow, so that we pray as never before. We open this prayer session right now. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, as we start, oh God, we start in your name. We cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. Even your servant, oh God, you will use it mightily today, Lord. At the end, oh God, we have the full cause to glorify your name. Thank you for hearing Amen. us, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Sister Joy, for that wonderful prayer. God bless you, Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Sandra, are you there, ma? Sister Sandra. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, can you help us with ten minutes praise and worship? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord, bless your name. Pray, the Lord, receive our worship, receive our praises in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus' name, amen. We give you glory, Lord. Have you all my We give you glory, Oh! 
Hallelujah. Thank you very much, sister, for that wonderful praise and worship. May God richly bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome once again to the presence of God in the name of Jesus. As you come, you will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Testimony time. Blessed time. If you know God has doing wonderful things in your life, you all mute your mic and testify the goodness of God in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I have a testimony. I just want to thank the Lord. I want to glorify the name of the Lord for adding another year to me. I want to thank you for his faithfulness. You know, the enemy, the enemy left alone to the enemy, I will not be alive today. So I want to thank God for his goodness, for his mercy, for his grace for my life, for preserving my family. May all glory and adoration be ascribed unto him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sister, I rejoice with you. You are blessed in Jesus' name. More grace to your age in the name of Jesus. You will be strong in the, in the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Do we have other testimony in the house? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So before I give testimony, let me bless the Lord with this song. Please, I will take much time. God bless you. Amen. I said, oh, Baba, I said, oh, I said, oh, Baba, I said, oh, I said, oh, Jesus, I said, oh, I said, oh, Jesus, I said, oh, 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 Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've been looking for a job, like let me say, a, a, a year ago, like maybe seven, this is uh, Julia last year. I'll be hoping God for a job. I'll be praying, I'll be praying. So, 
Finally, last week, I got a job. God has given me a job. God, God has blessed me with a new job. I give him all the glory, all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sister, I'm very happy for I'm very happy for you. I'm very happy for that wonderful job. I thank God for your life. Your testimony is covered with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Do we have other Amen. testimony in the house? If you have a testimony, you being alive is a testimony. We being together today is a testimony. Unmute your mark and testify the goodness of God in your life. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for my life today. Oh, you know, it's you. Now God get power. Help me and thank God. Praise Master Jesus. Hmm. Is that your testimony? I, I'm alive now. You know, easy. So that is a very big testimony. Being alive is a testimony. It is the grace of God. It's not by our power, neither by our might, but it's the grace of God. Me also being alive is a testimony. So, my sister, your testimony have covered all of us, all of us being alive, coming together, is a testimony. We glorify the name of the Lord for that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do we have other testimony? If we don't have, let's just go ahead to, uh, to take the announcement. Sister Sandra, please, can you help me with the announcement, ma? Thank you very much, ma. Praise the Lord. Sister Sam, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Just give me one second. Let me give you. Okay, thank you very much, ma. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is Fracture the Earth Time Movement. White World. It's a heavenly Mother 10 ministry. It's to teach by the Lord Jesus Christ through a great body to win more souls to the kingdom of God by populating heaven and the populating earth. The movement is saying to prepare the church for the rapture of on sin and the last day revival of souls. The ministry is a part of the vision of Amelie Chendose with divine encounter of heaven and air, the kingdom of darkness, having a huge body to send the end of fire for Jesus. The ministry hopes to send the hunger of billions of souls all over the world to love Jesus with on their hearts through a strong discipleship training, revelational knowledge, and the word of God, like the revival and many more. The movement tends to reach out the soul all over the world through undiluted holiness to let the people see the power of the Holy Ghost as the Lord confirms his word with science and wonders. Our goals. Send the end of fire through a last day revival to make disciples of all race. Get his soul ranch already and prepare for heaven, delivering many from the yoke of bondage and sin, exercising the fullness and oppression of a five old ministry, organizing deliverance, camping program, and prayer all over the nations. Our vision, salvation, Certification, undiluted holiness, only God by consecration, discipleship, 
power, truth, and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Friend, believe in rancho, liberation, deliverance, grace, water baptism, trinity, spiritual gift, and the totality of the word of God. Our country fellowship. Do when to join our country fellowship in South Africa, Ghana, Germany, Europe, USA, stroke Canada, United Kingdom, and spreading across two names. Weekly activities, Monday deliverance, Monday, uh, first Monday and last Monday, midnight deliverance program, 1 a.m. Nigeria time. Wednesdays, Bible study, 7 p.m. Nigeria time. Thursdays, charismatic fire, 7, 6 p.m. Nigeria time. Sorry for that. Fridays, Holy Ghost Power VG, 1 a.m. Nigeria time. Saturday, Children Fellowship, 4 p.m. Nigeria time. Sundays, 12 p.m. Discipleship class. Sunday fire, 1 p.m. Nigeria time. Sisters and Brothers Fellowship, every Sunday, 5 p.m. Nigeria time. Holy Communion service, last Sundays of the month after service. Our morning devotion, 5 p.m. country time, USA to Canada, Germany, Africa to Europe. The ministry give in tithes and offering through the ministry account to support the expansion of God's work and the heavenly mandating. Let's be faithful in our tithing and offering and see sowing to avoid the devourer and closed doors. Let's also support our ongoing deliverance car project for delivery, delivery, deliverance in Lagos, Nigeria. For more information, counseling, and more, and more, contact the man of God. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, sister. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If today is your first time of fellowshipping with us, rapture ready and time movement, or you have been fellowshipping with us in the uh, weekly activities, but we have not acknowledged your 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 presence, please can you unmute your mic and welcome you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If today is your first time of fellowshipping with us, so meet some mic, let's acknowledge your presence. If there is no, that means we have to go for evangelism. I'm not talking to only the man, I'm also talking to myself because we have to be bringing one one soul every day, every day so that we will depopulate air and populate heaven by the grace of God. We will win more so for Jesus. We really have to need to do a lot of work by evangelizing, inviting so to the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, at this junction, we have to call on Brother Godwin to lead us in a few minutes prayer. Sir. Brother Godwin, are you, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Okay, please name of peace. And uh, there are some people that are not on video. They are not on video. I will not play until you are on video. That's it. Be on video, please. I said, be on your feet. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. <clears throat> yes, I can see some people. Maybe not. Why some people are asleep? 
sitting down. <laughs> we have been dealing with that soon. I can only see one head. <laughs> And my sister is rubbing her head. We would love to see you standing. God bless you. Jesus must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. Savior must be honored. In our lives every day. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Christ must be honored in our lives every day. You know something? Today is a day of prayer. I know you are, I hope you plan, child. As you can see, I tie my belt very much well <laughs> because we are going to pray. We are going to pray and something is going to happen. Yes. Okay, sorry, give me one minute. I mean, let me change the light. Yeah, please bring one back. Huh? Bring one back. You can change. So, as we go to God in prayer right now, <clears throat> we are going with a full assurance, knowing that we are going with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ alone. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Savior must be honored in our life every day. Christ must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Savior must be honored. I say Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Christ must be honored in my life every day. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Savior must be honored in our life every day. I make it a, 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 a mandate. I was I was in prayers, you know. <clears throat> so I was just I was just praying. <laughs> I did not say. God, everything you must do must glorify Jesus. Everything I must do must give glory to Him. So I have made it a Monday. From now on, everything I must do must give Him glory. Because He's the reason why I am alive. Because He's the reason why I am standing. Because it's, really, it's also the reason why I can also speak. I turn around. I check around me. All I can see is the goodness of Jesus Christ. His love. His mercy. His kindness. Oh, Lord of me. It's moving me around. He's moving me around. He's moving me around. Oh, baby. He's moving me around. The very time is moving me around. Oh, my God. He's moving me around. It's moving me around. It's moving me around. Oh, it's moving me around. The Holy Ghost is moving me around. 
this one prayer, one by prayer. Every power that we should not have blessed in today, everything that Christ that is not of the glory of God, that we should not have blessed, you are a liar. I command you to scatter my prayer right now. In the name of Jesus, we do the prayer wherever you are. I want to hear your voice. We need the prayer. We need the prayer. We need the prayer. When you ever that is not of the glory of God, let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. Whatsoever that will hinder your blessings, every blessing is good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Jackney, please, can you help us? Before the man of God come in. Amen. Amen. Give me one. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. Sister Christy, we have a member. Amen. Are you talking to me? Yes. We have you one member now. Okay, we will come for that. Voice come at my help, my help come at from the Lord. Maker of heaven and earth, Jesus, He will not suffer my foot, my foot to be moved. He's the Lord that keeps me. He will not slumber nor sleep. For the Lord is my keeper, the Lord is my shield upon the right hand, upon the right hand. For the sun shall not smite me by day. Not the moon by night, for he shall preserve our soul, even forevermore. Lift up eyes to the hills, 
you ma'am uh if today is your first time uh, please can you unmute your mic so that we can identify you before the man of god call me please if today is your first time of fellowshipping with russia ready and time movement can you please unmute your mic so that we welcome you Please, Mark, can you meet for her? I think she don't know how to do it. So, so lady, that can unmute. Yes, yeah, okay. Oh, God bless you. Sister Ijoma, you are welcome in Jesus' name. What do we say to Sister Ijoma? Mr. Ijoma, you are welcome. God bless you. God increase you. We love you. We love you, the love of Christ. We remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Amen. Sister Sandra, please, can you sing a welcoming song for Sister Ijoma? <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man of God, please can you take over, sir? Mm.
Praise the Lord. Praise God for Jesus. Uh, okay. I hope everyone can hear me. Okay, praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I by the grace of God. Uh, okay, let's see if we remember uh, before we start off with okay, what our words are yesterday's topic. Uh, always going to remember that what's a Bible study topic yesterday. Uh, always going to remember that for us. Uh, is there anybody that remembers today's Bible topic? You can't speak. Sexual purity. Okay. So, who can remember the point that we talked about? I remember one of our points, the point we talked about this degree that we can achieve. Man of spiritual maturity. Okay. You can remember another part. The only sister she went to that okay. So who can remember one of the other points? Yeah, of the Lord. Okay. How was the other top point again? Okay, the other point here is dangers um, of sexual compassion. The third part of look at is in what period. Um, so, as uh, before we continue, let's go to God in prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, King of all glory, we thank you. We bless you for a day like this that you brought us. Lord, you give us the strength to pray. And you will help us to see you more in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Okay, the first part we'll look at here before we go to God's prayer is inward purity. Um, and, and here we'll, we'll look at somewhere in Matthew. Matthew chapter 5. Verse 28. Look at what it says. He says, Ye have heard that it was said, that it was said by them of old time. So he says here, sorry.
I do. Give me my phone. Sorry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Sorry, I wanted to get back on that. So, like we said, we looked at um, um, sexual purity. The first part of looking at sexual purity. So, when you look at Matthew 5 28, look at what he says there. He says, But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to thought after her has committed adultery with her already in his heart. In his heart. That was why Job. Made a covenant with the Lord with his eyes also. And uh, one thing that you must understand is that men are always fantasized with what they see, and women are always fantasized with what they hear also. And uh, I realize that if you and I must get to this level, we must be sexually pure in our heart. Now, there's a lot of perversion everywhere. Everywhere you go, there are naked pictures. In the room, wherever you go to, in the uh, streets, in your different countries, a lot of things are happening. But you know, by the special grace of God, God desires us to be pure. The kind of purity God is talking about does not mean that if you don't fornicate or maybe you don't commit adultery, but if you are doing it in your heart, which means that in your heart, if you build up something like that in your heart and you begin to meditate on it and you begin to fantasize on it, then you are getting somewhere. You are causing big problem for yourself. And that's why in the new covenant, it's different from the old covenant. In the new covenant, if you did something like that, you are not sinning against God. In the old covenant, if you did something like that, you are not sinning against God. But in the new covenant right now, because of the level of purity, holiness, sanctification and righteousness that God expects from us. It's a higher standard. We fight to a higher standard, which means that whenever you find yourself and all those things are coming around you, whenever you see impure thoughts and impure pictures and things like that, you cast it down immediately by the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, God is not saying that these things will not appear to you because they will come around you, whether you know it or not. Whether if you go around, maybe in your different country, you might see that there are billboards, there are some certain things that are not of the glory of God. But what does God expect you, even in that darkness, even in that darkness, you resist it. You use the light of God in your spirit and you quench that darkness away. Because those are works of demon spirit. And I know that the Holy Spirit will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that is that there are things that God has allowed. See, you know, some people, mostly the atheists, the last person I was chatting with that was an atheist, he said to me, Oh, brother, if God is good, why that God sees wicked things happening and is not talking and is not saying anything? I wanted to explain to this person, but I'm realizing that I think this person will hardly understand. Most people, because he has been through a lot of problems and trauma and is asking himself, Why does God allow this? In essence, I believe that. God is trying to teach us and is trying to help us grow to maturity. This thing, well, how would I know you? How would you know you have self control? And how would I know I have self control? Is it not when a particular thing is by my side and I'm able to say no to that thing and I'm able to control myself and say, get away from my side? That's when I know, yes, I have the spirit of self control in my life. So many of these things, God is trying to know. Does this sister and does this brother, as he grow, as she grow, have you upgraded in your spirit? Now, do you have the spirit and the gifts or the fruits of self-control inside of you? 
So whenever those things appear to you like that, or whenever you see all those things, because of, we are talking of inward purity, whenever you see the nakedness of soul, immediately you speak the word of God. And immediately you know you allow the devil to know that you are a child of God and you cannot be captured by all those things. And that thing Satan comes to is your imagination. Your imagination. Some people are good at imagining things. There are people that they can imagine the structure of a woman and they can imagine the structure of a man. You know, that's the eyes of the devil. And you must tell that eyes of the devil, get away from my sight, you know. I want to be able to imagine good things. I don't want to imagine evil things. The funny thing about it is that if this kind of thing is inside of you, it has to do with sexual perversion. That's the work of the enemy. It has to do with sexual perversion. But there is a way of freedom. There is a way you and I can be free. If we place ourselves and we regenerate ourselves with the word of God. With the word of God. And I know that God is going to help us and he's going to see us through the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I talked about something, curiosity. You know, I said something about curiosity. I said, even I, I, I had that problem, you know. You know, you, you don't know what this thing is all about. But maybe you check it on the internet. Something inside of you say, open this thing. Open this thing. You know that that thing is dangerous. So what might say, no, please. You might say, what is there? Am I not strong? Am I not? Let me open this thing. Why you open this thing? You just see what you don't want to see. Or you see what the devil wants you to see there. We must ensure that we are not too curious. That spirit of curiosity, most times it is of the devil. It's not everything you must see. And it's not everything you must know. The one that is revealed to you is revealed to you by the law. And as the Bible says, the secret things belong to only them that fear the law, or belong to the Lord himself, as the Bible says. So we must be careful of this spirit of curiosity. That's how there are many sex tapes on the internet now, on Facebook, on WhatsApp. There are many sex tapes on the internet and on, on Facebook and on WhatsApp, but God desires something. God expects that by the special grace of God, we are able to say no to the devices and to the strategy of the enemy. We are able to say no when we see these things. And I'm believing, and I know that God will give us his grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I know that God will give us his grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I know that God will see us through. He will help us to do what is right. He will give us his grace and so that we are able to overcome every arrow of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you know, we're going to look at somewhere in 1 Corinthians. Somewhere in uh, 1 Corinthians 6. Thirteen to fourteen. Look at what he says there. He says, "Meat for the belly." He says, "Meat for the belly, and the belly for meat." But God shall destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord. But for the Lord. But for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. Look at what he says in fourteen again. And God has. Both raise up the Lord, and we also raise up us by its own power. So your body is not to be used for all these things that you see out there. Your body is not to be used for a sexual experiment. No. Your body is to be used to glorify the Lord. Your body is to be used to serve the Lord. And you must remember that the bed must be undefined by the special grace of God. So there are different ways. You can even make a covenant with the Lord. You can tell the Lord, I'm going to keep myself pure. All I need is you give me your grace. But I have made a decision in my heart. I have made a decision in my soul. Never to give the devil a chance in my life. You can make a decision with the Lord. And say, I'm going to treat my eyes very much well. I'm only going to see what you want me to see. And I'm not going to be very much curious. You can make a decision with the Lord of your sexual purity that you are going to decide to be pure and you are going to decide to wait until possibly if God thinks it fit and you get married. That's the way God wants it to be 
in our life. I know that God is going to give us exceeding grace. I know that God is going to give us exceeding grace. I know that God is going to give us exceeding grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. So in this kind of world that we live in, we have a lot of wicked spirit that has been released. In short, in my own in my own conviction, I believe that many souls will go through hell or will go to hell by the reason of sexual perversion and by the reason of sexual impurity. Because if you watch now, it's one of the strongest forces and it's one of the strongest bait of Satan also. That's why God wants us. Control yourself. That's why God wants you. As a brother, put a full stop there. As a brother, you know, put, put a break. Put a break there and say, I'm not going to cross this line. And as a sister also, you know, allow the Holy Spirit to help you also so that you will not be a two in the hands of the wicked one. I know that God is going to help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even in our marriages also, God wants us to be sexually pure. You know, we don't have to do the things the way the world system does it. We don't have to follow the trends of the people of the world. We have to be very much different. So which means that we don't have people have sex like the people of the world. We need to be very much different. And you see that when you are different, that the spirit of God will revolt in your marriage. But if you begin to do things like dirty people and all the rest, you can imagine when God looks at you from heaven and says, ah, was this person really created in my own image or likeness or so? So that is why you need to avoid all those things. And maybe if you were really before, if you were being perverted in your sexual life, in your marital life, or maybe in your marital life, you want to have sex, and you do it like the people of the world, and you know you do all those useless styles that the people of the world do, and all the rest, then you must stop it from today. And you must tell the Lord to take charge of the marital bed. And you must surrender it over to the Holy Spirit so that He can help you, and so that He can help me, and so that He can help each and every one of us. I know that God is giving us that grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And even if you have a spouse, and even if you have, because I know that almost um, 70%, if possible, or 60% of people that are here are already married also. And even if you have a spouse, and if you have somebody that, you know, possibly is not thinking like the Lord, and does not have the mind of Christ inside of him, you know, there are some kind of acts he will tell you to do. You tell him humbly, not, not with, um, um, how am I going to put it? Not, not, not with a mind. You tell him with a submissive heart. You tell him with a submissive spirit or something like that. Not because you want to argue with him. And not because you want to begin to take the authority that God has given to him. No. But you tell him with a prayerful spirit. Oh, I don't think that this way is right. And I don't think that this way is right. Oh, we can change. We can have it in a better way. And if you're doing it like that, if you talk to him in a gentle way, you see that. God will give you the grace. He will understand. He's a human being, you know. He will understand that, you know, this is not the way. This is not the way. I've seen a lot of stories, you know, and when I hear all those things, I'm saying, oh, what is this? I've even seen some people, you know, it's as if the man wants to even kill the woman or something like that. Even when it comes to having sex, and the thing is affecting the woman, you know. So, but there are ways to do it. There are ways to do it. Not that you now begin to shout at the person or something like that, and you know you begin to have problems in your marriage, but with a humble heart, with a humble spirit, with a submissive mind, or something like that. And maybe you are here, you have been making that mistake. I know that God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As time goes on, maybe when we have, you know, somebody was talking to me yesterday, I was saying, but you say, why is it that you, you don't want to? Um, talk about this as in why is it that you are not going direct? You know, why is it that you are using some words? You know, this is not telling me, be direct now, be direct now, or something like that. It's, a, it's not me, I need that be direct now. <laughs> 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 so it's, it's not like, um, it's not like, it's not like, um, um, I don't want to say those things, but I want us to understand, but I'm believing God that there are times where we will have a full marriage course seminar. 
or so. And it will be very much expository, it will be very much explanatory or so. When it comes to one of my mentors, in different aspects, it's not always clear, you know, when he talks about that. So God has given grace to different people for different particular reasons. But I believe that with all these things, you have understood what sexual purity is all about in your personal life and in your marital life. And I feel that yesterday we talked about, you know, it's a matter of spirituality and the dangers of becoming sexually perverted. We talked about that also. If you are sexually perverted, it will affect many areas of your life. It will affect your destiny. It will affect God's plan for your life. See, there are people that have lost what God wants them to do. It's not as if God does not want to use them. But God cannot just use them. Because of some certain mistake that they have made. Because of some covenants that they have broken. When you, when, anytime you hear about sex, it's, it's more deeper than you can see. It's more deeper than something that meets the eye. It's deeply spiritual. It's highly spiritual. I mean it's highly spiritual. That's why the strength that a man loses when he begins to engage in that. It's not just a physical strength. Spiritual strength has also gone at this. It's deeply spiritual also. The same thing also with the woman. So that is why you must understand. What am I trying to say? God really puts his eyes towards that. He has created it for a particular purpose. It is God that created it. It is not the devil. Eh? Don't ever think it is the devil that created sex. No, it's not the devil. It's God himself that created it. God made it like that. And God made it very pleasurable from the foundations of time. He did it all. I felt that God was thinking, how can I do this so that human beings will procreate and, you know, have a lot of people on this earth? How can we make, okay, let's do this thing very much where God says. Let's be in such a way that they will have fun and it will be pleasurable. And you know, God is happy. God is happy when you do it in the right way. Not when you are doing it in the wrong way. Not when people are having sex like animals. Not all those um, style, this style, dog, um, goat, cats, fish, or something like that, you know. Not all those kind of um, um, style. When God looks at you, God will be like, you are reducing yourself to an animal or so. So not that kind of um, lifestyle, no. Not that, that's, <laughs> that's not what God desires from us by the special miracle. But he wants us to do it in the light of scripture also. Not the one that may happen, you know, and you know, the man will say, no, 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 no. You must come and kiss me here, and you must come and kiss me here, or something like that, and you must go to his babies, and all the rest. No, 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 no. All those things, God does not desire it in your life. He does not desire it in your marriage. So if you can have a husband that tells you that, you know, tell me that your pastor said, that is not the right way or so. What is the right way? The right way is just to follow the way the scripture has given it. No, the scripture didn't give so much of injunction on how to do that. Why? You know why? God wanted to freely leave us to have the poor. But still yet, you must not go to the extreme. Does not also mean that you must also be cold and say, mm, 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 mm. I can't, I can't, I can't touch you. Mm, 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 mm. Your marriage should just die, you know. Mm, mm, mm. You know, a, a, two, a brother and a sister, they got married. And when they got married, you know, the man was afraid to touch his wife or something like that. And the same thing, the woman, they were like, mm, mm, mm. oh God, oh God. And you know, they began to even spiritualize the marriage out there. Or something like that. Can you imagine? How are they going to give birth to children? Also, that's not wisdom. Also, so God is not saying that you become poor or something like that. No, he won't, he won't, he won't give birth to children like that. Does anybody give birth to children by staying like that? No. The two of them come together and they become one, but they do it in the right perspective. It's not that the woman now comes and begin to stay on top of the man and all the rest. That's not the right way of doing that, you know, it is the man on top of the woman. These are normal things because the man is the head, is the head of the house, and the man is the head of the woman, not the other way around. And have you seen how sometimes these are spiritual injunctions for the devil wants to turn it around? So that's about you know the marital bed and some other things you know that we see. So let's not follow the pattern and don't begin to you know watch all these rubbish immoral movies. Or immoral, um, but it will, it will affect your psychology. It will destroy you. You might not understand. 
far as people that have watched all those things right now, they are crying. It will, it will, it will disturb your emotions. It will, it, will, it will keep appearing to you. It will keep coming. You want to pray and you rejoice here by your side. How do you want to pray? Even if you release fire 10 times, it might still be there. It is easy for it to go inside of you. It is hard for it to go outside of you. It takes time. And it takes time. And it takes discipline. So instead of you allowing it to enter inside of you, why not, why not, you know, try to ensure that you don't allow it to come inside of you? So we must be pure. Even in our marriage, we must not say because we are married, you know, that we can do anything that we want to do and you will destroy yourself. If, if you want me to even go into the scientific aspect, some of those ways that people are doing all those things, scientifically, it is even totally wrong. That's why people begin to have different kinds of diseases. And that's why they begin to have different kinds of problems in their private body. And it will lead to so many things. What am I trying to say, my beloved brothers and sisters? Let's follow the pattern of the word of God so that we can make it to heaven. I know that God is giving us the grace. Yes. I know that God is giving us the grace. Yes. I know that God is giving us the grace. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Because I'm asking myself, why are people afraid to talk about these things? When it is one of the things causing the biggest problem on the earth and on the universe? When it is one of the things that are sending people to hell, why would we talk about it? If it will save many people from going to hell, we talk about it. We talk about it and they know the dangers of it. If it will save many people, your children, as they are growing up, teach them, teach them some of these things. Teach them. Let them know. Let your daughter know as she gets to a particular age and she's growing up and she's having physical structures. Let her know that ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nobody must do this to you. And nobody must do that to you. So don't say she knows. And don't say he knows. If not, the world will teach them. And if the world teaches them, it's very dangerous. Just like in your different countries. I read the government teaching your children how to have sex now. I read the government teaching your children how to masturbate now. I read the teaching them. But if you are taught them before the government teaches them, it will save you. It will save your family. It will save, you know, what some little children know. Half of what they know. They know better than me, you know. They are very good. They know better than me also. And so sometimes I'm asking myself, it's like I'm left behind, you know. So it's good like that. And let it be regarded like that. that maybe let them say you are old school, you know. I'm thinking, you know, that some people might feel that, oh, bro, chill, is it that he's old school or something like that? Well, let it be so. Let them say you are old school. Because that's the way. That's the way of heaven. I know that God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's rise up. It's time for prayer. It's time for prayer. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? It's not sitting down. This is patient. What are you sitting down? Patient of God. I hope I can do God. So, um, God will need. Also, so uh, sitting down. <laughs> Sorry if I didn't get this well. Also, but I, um, I'll try. So let's start off and then um, um, each other, except maybe for the Muslim mothers. Also, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. By You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My 
will come because the Bible says that the country that they repent that heart we get to ask of the Lord for mercy. Some of you, because of documents, because of I want this document, you are coming on all people and you are trying yourself. You thought it was just the play you are doing, but you don't know that this is destiny. This destiny, this destiny, maybe because of this, you won't get them to know that you are fine, you have done a lot of things. That is why right now, let the mercy of God speak for us. Let the mercy of God speak for us. According to his loving kindness, let his mercy speak for us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. If we do see that some of us here also, you have engaged yourself with pornography, you are still committing lesbianism, and you are still committing all kinds of homosexual. And maybe my sister, you still carry something like a sick. Maybe when nobody sees you, you insert it inside of your vagina. When nobody sees you, you just put it there and you just begin to touch yourself like that. God is watching you. Those are sexual perversion. And you tell the Lord right now, take away that spirit away from our life. Take away that spirit away from our life. Take away. Maybe when nobody sees you, you go there, you go to your inner room and you begin to fantasize with your genital. Oh, and maybe you come to fellowship, you dress well, you are in jail, you sit well, you are a poker. Maybe my eyes cannot see you very much well, but tell the Lord to give you grace. Tell the Lord to take away that spirit. That spirit from your life. That spirit from our life. That spirit from our life. We want to be sexually pure. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Right now, so we will pray again. Every marine agent, every marine agent, using my life, using my destiny, using my sexual organ. Your time is all. Maybe go scatter them by fire. Every marine agent.
See, listen to me. With all this kind of spirit, you can't get married to. Who you allow you to get married? Where? They don't like their people to get married. How can they allow you to get married? Where? How can they know? You need to divorce yourself from these people. You need to separate yourself from these people. They will not want to allow you to get married. Some of them don't want to allow you to have children. Uh -uh. If it's you and you have a wife, do you want your husband to go and get married to another person? In the physical world, no. In the spiritual world, it's the same thing. Listen yeah. to me. There is what is called jealousy. See, the spirit, in the rest of the spirit, what you do here, they do it much more. Now, let me tell you. I was listening to a testimony. Uh, this woman is from the sea. She got married to a man on earth also. If this woman was to have sex, she will use sex to kill the man. You know, the way spirits behave is not the way you people behave here. The, if, if the person wants to have sex now, she can do it like continuously. And the man is a human agent for working for Satan. But he had to marry somebody from the sea. So he was too tired. He was like, what kind of human being is this? Because that, if they want to show you love. They show you love in what you can write experience. Love is like they breathe love and they eat love and they smell love. I'm trying to make you understand that in the spirit world, anything they do is magnified. Now, when it comes to jealousy, you know all these things that normally in marriages, different couples, this one might be jealous. I don't want my couple, my wife to talk to this one. You know those normal things that happen. In the spirit world, it's deep. That's why most times, when they see you, you are about doing something or getting married. Ah, the jealousy is too much. They will do everything. They will not talk to the dream again. Make another small covenant with you. Can't you remember me? I am your own. Listen to me. That is why you will separate yourself. Any water spirit. Any water spirit. Any money water power. Any money water power. That is associated with my life. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, 
And he can't stop capturing here like me, no matter what he does. And never. He can never. If he tries it, fire is still up. Fire will keep on coming. Fire, fire, fire. And if he's coming, he's that will get tired. And Satan will get tired. He can't stop the work of God. That's why we'll pray for that here at times again. All those small, small demons. All those small, small demons that Satan has released. No, those are all those small, small demons. Small demons. You have power over Satan himself. Yes. Much less of the smaller ones himself. You have power over principalities and powers. Yes. That's what the Bible says. Yes. Runners of the wicked world. Runners of dark world. Runners of all kinds of kingdom. You have power over them. That is why we will begin to pray right now for rapture again. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I want to give us a prayer token. We begin to pray, you know, for our again argument that every power that wants to stand against the widespread of this commission, see, listen to me, Satan knows that we are in for real business. We are in for real business. Every power that wants to stop the commission, every power that wants to hold down the vision, Every power that wants to hold down the calendar of rapture and the entire movement. Every power that wants to hold down the vision and the mission. Right now, their time is up. You will know what you do with this fire and burning stone of the kingdom. Oh, 
fight our battle. Holy Ghost, arise, you oh, and fight my battle. You will begin to pray right now. Every strategic arrow against your life. Jesus. Oh, many, 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 
Lord Jesus. Your next I feel like the fire of God is there. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For the upcoming prayer and the thick God's fellowship. Listen to me. It's now that I know that the heart of men is getting strong. That an unusual anointing is different. I think it's like, you don't understand. See, man has tied people with too much of problem. This is why you are going to church. Some people, they are here. <laughs> they don't understand the English language. See, man has finished people with problem. So, it takes an unusual anointing. Except you want to be getting anointing from the sea. And you want to be getting from the water. What am I trying to say? Because we will make prayer right now. And we will break the strongholds. We will pray the caterpillars. We will pray all of these that are in their spiritual life. That are even them to love the Lord. It's not like before. When people love the name of Jesus Christ. No, something has gone wrong in the spiritual world. They have, they have used different means to tie people. They have used marriage to tie people. They have used this. That's why some people enter into Different kind of thing. And the fake, the fake people is true because if you go to some place, some people say, uh, are you sure? I don't know the eye that they are using to even look at me. <laughs> if they are using a good eye to look at me also. And I okay, you know, sometimes people request some people see you prophesy. Mm, mm, mm. Are you sure? And I'm not laughing. I say, what, what, are, what are these people talking about? What am I trying to say? Satan has given what on this earth. But there's a remnant. There's a remnant. There's a remnant. There are people that God has chosen for revival. There's a remnant of it. Well, if you like, he said that night. Like, if you like, go to see. Can I all the queen of us? No change that. Either. Can I all the queen? If you like, can I all the marine agent? You can't stop the work of God. Yes. He can't. He can't. He can't. He has come to that point yes. where he could have done it. It is when he was supposed to stop Jesus. But he didn't stop Jesus. Yeah. If he can't stop Jesus, he can't stop us. Yeah. Right now, we are here right now. This whole locality where we stay in fire, where we have decided to pitch our tents here, yeah, we will go and fight. Are you ready to enter into war? Yes! Let there be war. Oh. 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 Let if I say let there be war, say war. Let there be 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 war. Every piece of Maya. You repeat after me. Every piece of Maya. Every piece of Maya. Every stronghold in Lagos State. Every witchcraft association. Every local association. Every local chief association. Every local chief association. Every local chief association. Thank <laughs> you. 
can help you to stay in the world. It cannot be. Not the natural yet. It cannot be. It cannot be. They can never. Every power. Touching your finances. Every power. Touching what God has given to you. I say right now. Let there be a relief of a promise in your heart. Begin to rejoice in the Lord. Begin to be 
enjoy it with the Lord. Wherever you are right now, every power, every wicked spirit that has been monitoring your life, it is gone away. They are going away. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are right now, any of your garments that have been taken into the wicked world, to manipulate your life. I say it is standard by power. In the name of Jesus Christ, every power that is not allowing you to enjoy the glory of God, you are walking, but the enemy is not still allowing you to enjoy the fruit of your labor. Right now, I say that it is standard by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are right now, the darkness that the devil has decided to put in your life is gone away. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. that spirit of backwardness that wants you to be in the same position every year. I say right now that you turn around. Amen. A divine turn around. Amen. In your mind. A divine turn around. Amen. In your spiritual life. Amen. A divine turn around. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus Christ, every power, listen to me very much, 
are God. They know that they are powerful than Jesus. Any power at midnight hour that we appear, I want to touch you.
The glory, the honor, the adoration, and the mighty name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen. Let's pray. Uh, we are prayed today. As any power that will rise up against our prayer tonight, that will rise up against the man of God because of the blessing that He has blessed us tonight. Let's begin to render that power powerless to render that power useless right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we yeah, our Lord that will rise up against our prayer tonight. So we Money, Allah, with the blood of Jesus, my taking of glory, Allah, we thank you, Allah, we worship you. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's let the God of God that they have as they have lead prayer today, that every plan so any words of darkness against their life. Because they have lived prayer in this ministry, in the meeting today. Let's scatter the plans of the enemy against their lives with the, the name of Jesus. Father, King of glory, commit to the joy, oh Lord, brother, brother. Oh my God, 
In the precious name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen. It's time to give our offering. Sister Kim, do you have the, the, the way we are giving our offering? Do you have the formula so that I can send it to the chat? But let me explain it before we go on. Man. Praise the Lord. Sakandra, are you there? Hi, Sakandra. Long in with my phone. Just give me some questions. Okay, I don't know if Sister Yvonne has it. Because Sister Yvonne was the one that sent it the last time. Mama, let's try to see. Sister Sandra? Yes, give me two cents. Thank you. It is posted there already. Okay, thank you very much. Sister Joy, after the explanation, you will give us the song, Two Minutes Praise and Worship for the offering song, Ma. Thank you very much. So for the first time on the newcomer in our midst, the way we are giving our offering, the way we are giving our offering, you can send it directly to the, to the ministry account or to the account of the man of God or... Thank you very much, ma'am. You can send it to the ministry account or you can send it through Western Union or Money Grant. Or you send it to direct account of the man of God. It is these are the these are the ways we are giving our offering. Yes. So as you do that, may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Sister Joy, please thank you. Take over, ma'am. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Offering time. Let's be time. Uh, let us give our offering to the Almighty God. As we give our offering, we bless us abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful for you are God for us. Oh Lord, we are very, very thankful. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, oh Lord, we are very, very great, very grateful for all you have done for us. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful, we are thank you, oh, thank you, my Lord, oh Lord, I am very, very grateful for all you have done for us. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful. We are great, I give you. We are the Father that we never, never fail. We are the Father, He will never, never fail. Jesus is our Father, He will never, never fail. Lord of ages, never, oh, never, never fail. I am the Father, He will never, never fail. I am the Father, He will never, never fail. Jesus is our Father, He will never, never fail. Lord of ages, never, never. We didn't know you would take all of this way. We didn't know you we all are of this way. I didn't know you would take all of this way. You would take all of this way. Thank you, my Lord. I didn't know you we all are of 
all this way. We didn't know you we bless all this way. We didn't know you will never us this way. You will never us this way. Thank you, Bala. You will never us this way. Thank you, Bala. You will bless us this way. Thank you, Jesus. We adore your name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you very much, Sister Joy, for that wonderful praise. Thank you, ma. God bless you. But uh, God, will please, can you bless the offering for us, sir? Yes. We are not hearing you, sir. Can you please unmute him? Do you know the name of the person? Praise the Lord. It's not working. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, can you hear me clearly? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, Father, we thank you for helping me, Lord. We are giving from our heart. Lord, out of what we have come in, we have given to your world. Accept our offerings, O Lord. Bless the value of our gift. Let there be replenishment from where it comes from. In the name of Jesus Christ. Think about glory. We also pray for those that don't have to give. Lord, bless the world. Increase the world. And next time you'll be able to give and to support your work in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much, sir. Sorry. This is gonna please, Ma. Can you help us with the closing prayer, ma? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, ma'am. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you all hear me? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I didn't know you will favor us this way. We didn't know you will favor us this way. We didn't know, we didn't know, we didn't know. God will favor us this way. He will favor us this way. Thank you, my Lord. Father, we didn't know you will favor us this way. Father, we didn't know you would give us so much love. For your love is so patient, your love is so kind. Your love is so marvelous, your love is so beautiful. Father, we thank you again for bringing us here again, oh Lord. To hear this word today. Ancient of days, we magnify your holy name. We thank you. We worship you. We thank you for everything, oh Lord, you have done for us. We thank you for the word of God we have had today. We magnify your holy name because you are the Alpha and the Omega. But I will thank you because no power will take away the blessings, oh Lord, we have received today. Jehovah, you are the beginning and the end. But I will thank you for everything. We cover each and every one of us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Christ. For that as we are living, we are not going out of your presence. We decree that the precious blood of Jesus, that the showers of blessings, oh God, that the divine protection of God shall follow us, oh God, to the end of the day till we meet tomorrow. And Father, we decree, oh Lord, that you bless us, oh Lord, with the heart of David, the ear of Samuel, oh Lord Jehovah, the faithfulness of Abraham, let it be our portion, God. Let the zeal of Peter follow us. Let the love of John follow us, oh Lord. Give us the body 
boldness, oh Lord, the confidence, oh God, of Brother Paul, oh God, to go out and evangelize your word, to do that which pleases you. And we hope, oh God, by tomorrow, oh Lord, you bless us, oh Lord, with miracle, oh God, answers to our prayers, that no power, no ugly demon out there will take our blessings from us. We cover each and our families, oh Lord, our children, our spouses, oh Lord, even the man of God, all remembers people that we are able to love in and people that are not here, we serve them with the blood of Jesus Christ. We cover all their door entrances, oh Lord, their door posts with the blood of Jesus Christ. Every crack in their foundations, in their houses, wherever they are, Jesus, we fill it with the blood of Jesus. As powers of the enemy has gone out of our body, Jehovah, we fill every vacuum, oh God, that has been created in our body with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father, have your way, oh Lord. Give us spiritual alertness, oh Lord. Give let us be spiritual active, oh God. Spiritual designment, oh Lord, to be able to know what to do at the right time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, because you are an awesomely awesome good God. We magnify you, worship you. Be thou exalted, oh Lord. Be thou magnified, because that is not to be compared unto this holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. God bless this. Now we have come to the end of the meeting. I hope we are blessed in Jesus' name. Sister Claudia, please, can you help us with a monthly declaration, ma? <laughs> this is my month of unlimited issues. This is my month of unlimited issues. <laughs> To set the earth on fire for Jesus. And to impart my generation for revival. And to impart my generation for revival. So help me God. So help me God. And the people of God say, Amen. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and by with us now and forever. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom, shalom, everybody.